Hello everyone and welcome back to another video tutorial from WP Globe. Have you ever wanted to inform your visitors about an event? Both small and big businesses tend to create events online. That is a great opportunity to meet or communicate with your customers. And if you use WordPress, then organizing an event can be even easier than you might think. And all that thanks to the WordPress plugins and especially the event calendar plugin. So as you may guess, today we are going to talk about the event calendar plugins, functionalities and create one through it. But first, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the notifications on. So let's start. First, let us see its description on the WordPress repository. It has more than 800,000 active installations and has been tested with the WordPress newest 5.9 updated version. It scores 4.3 out of 5 star rating. This is the official plugin page where you will find both the free and pro versions presented. So here is the premium version pricing. The price for one site is $99. Three sites cost $199. Ten sites cost $399. The same price is also available for the WordPress multi-site. And for unlimited site access, you should pay $799. These plans include one-year updates, premium support and many other options. Now let us start the plugin installation and activation from the WordPress plugin directory. And in the plugin dashboard, we may notice a getting started guide, knowledge base, uh, which are sources of information about the event calendar plugin, as well as a translation section to see other languages uh, besides English and virtual event resources to plan online events, webinars, etc. Along with all the mentioned things, you have an option to migrate the events from other calendars and take your events to another level through the special add-ons. Let's see what configure uh, settings this plugin offers. Here you may change your calendar's functions, such as changing the number of events shown per page. You can activate the block editor for the managed events, uh, display the comments, insert currency symbols. Also, you can automatically delete events after a specific date due to the move to trash events older than and permanently delete events older than options. It is significant to have options like time zone mode and show time zone, so you can determine your preferable time zone for the events. In the display section, you may customize the calendar by choosing the events template. Also, you can benefit from the advanced template settings uh, by adding HTML before and after content. In the integration section, you can see the Google Maps API as the plugin works with an API key for including some map functions. So here you should add your own Google Map API key to access some functions. Along with these functions, you have an opportunity to import events and make changes to them. Now let us create an event calendar for our website and for that we need to enter the add a new event section and start filling the boxes according to our needs. Here you should write a title and short description for your event calendar. Uh, next, uh, scroll down to the bottom of the page to fill the required boxes. Let us determine the start and end date. After that, we should add a location, including the venue name, address, city, country, state or province, website, phone number, and postal code. We can let the show map and show map link boxes ticked or we can remove them. Then we may move forward by filling the organizer name, phone number, a website and email address if available. Along with one organizer, you can add the second one too. After that, we should determine the event website by adding its URL to the empty box. 
And here we should enter a currency symbol and choose the symbol's location before or after the cost. And definitely the entry cost, let us write for example $100. For additional functionality and add-ons, you should upgrade to the Pro version. After filling in all the fields, we can add an image to the description. As well as tags, for example, Mega Event and Composers Mega Event and uh, add new event categories such as musical now let's add a set featured image and publish the event calendar now let's see uh, what it looks like on our website so we preview changes here is our event calendar with all the inserted details description details organizer venue and map additionally you can add the date to your google calendar or add it to iCalendar as you wish that's all for today leave a comment if you like the tutorial and please write down the names of plugins for creating event calendar that you have ever used on your wordpress website see you in the next video